your hourly news. Today's top stories are a 114-year-old woman fakes her age to get a Facebook account, how Facebook affects the election this year, ISIS leader beheads another reporter, the Ebola scare for a patient that was tested for the killer virus, and academic fraud at universities to keep players in the games. a 114-year-old woman was always a fan of learning new things and decided it was about time to become a member of Facebook. But there's a catch. She fudged her age to be 99 in order to be able to sign up. But make no mistake that Anna is not the only person that changed her age to sign up. So be careful not to get involved with those 18-year-old girls. But that's not all. Facebook not only teaches women to become members, but also encourages them to become part of elections. In fact, Facebook has become so popular that sooner or later it'll start to rule over our lives. Furthermore, the CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, no, no, it's Zuckerberger. Oh, okay, Mark. No, I think it's Mark Zuckerberg. Shares his opinion about Facebook becoming the next thing in election. He says. Elections is a major thing and that everyone should be a part of it and everyone should treat it like a game where you can play not only for your enjoyment, but for the fun of it. How considerate. He also says this could benefit elections in many ways and it would make a big impact not only on elections, but also on Facebook, which in this case, I think he means money. However, when reporters asked him during the interview about Facebook, how, how it actually gives people the advantage to vote, he replied. Facebook encourages people to vote and that they will get that advantage, not the public. But wait, what about knowledge? Don't they need a background knowledge for elections? They just have to select the I vote for this person and then they are done? It's that easy? Wow, isn't that clever? I think it's great because you can actually instantly vote on Facebook without doing any paperwork or search background information about the person who you're voting for. It all happens in 60 seconds. It's that simple. Normally we'd have an advertisement in this section, but currently we don't have one, so here's a kitten. For 18 years, thousands of students at the prestigious University of North Carolina took fake paper classes, and advisors funneled athletes into the program to keep them eligible. I guess academic fraud doesn't just happen in elementary school, but it happens even in colleges now. So for all those who play sports and get accepted into a university, you just hit a jackpot. You don't have to take any real classes. You will pass for sure at the University of North Carolina. A North Carolina grad stated, fake classes helped me play. Davis, who succeeded Bunting as coach, and was eventually fired in the wake of the scandal in 2011, also admitted to knowing there were easy classes, Weinstein said. You really don't need to study or be smart. You can be a college athlete with no cost or work. Please excuse her mess. We have another empty ad advertisement spot. And who made this? Ugh. Sorry. Here's a, um, a dog in a basket. Ah, now back to regular programming, Heck, sorry. Also, we just found out that the Jihadi John of ISIS beheaded yet another American. Isn't that something new, huh? His name was Peter Kasich, and he was a former U.S. soldier who became a medical worker and went to Syria to help the victims in war, but sadly he was captured by ISIS. But the weird thing is, he wasn't captured just recently, but he was captured a year ago. I wonder what he was doing since then. I mean, he became part of their brotherhood because he converted to Islam. So why would they even capture him and kill him when they could have just let him be part of their group? He seemed like a loyal person to me. Who knows what may happen next? Be sure to check out on YouTube and Twitter every day to stay tuned in with more ISIS beheadings and announcements. Yep, and don't forget to do the ISIS bucket challenge. Challenge your hashtag.
Wait a minute, what? 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 What?